Yo, what's poppin' peeps? Your boy T Money here for a double video for you guys today. So, we are on the road. Uh, I decided that I was gonna do um, another little drive session where I record myself and take you guys on a little tour to Best Buy because I wanna go pick up that new uh, Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 3 steelbook that everybody and their mother has shown off recently on uh, the tube. So stay tuned for the video. Um, I'm going to take you guys on a tour right about now. Hey dudes, T-Money in the car. Currently we are in downtown Burlington, Vermont and we are driving to Best Buy in Williston, where I've gone before. I've taken you guys on the road with me before. Um, so let's do this. How's everybody doing? This is a good time for me to catch up with uh, my YouTube fam, see how everybody's doing, and uh, just chat a little bit and go on the road for uh, this new release that I swear I've seen a million pictures, and it looks so cool. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the corn self-titled album from the, the first album of Korn where it's like the swing set and like the silhouette of somebody or something. I don't know why because it's a totally different scene. I'm pretty sure the image in the um, in the Ash vs. Evil Dead release is like Bruce with a chainsaw in a school hallway and there's like this I don't know if it's a silhouette or something of like this um, I don't even know bear suit or something I'm drawing a blank but I've seen it a million times so uh, yeah this is Burlington Vermont um, I already mentioned that University of Vermont right there one of the many college buildings uh, shitty Indian restaurant used to be good way back in the day but not anymore kind of gone downhill like a lot of things but um, yes it's a very pretty college town that we live in here the college kids are out and about Doing the, doing the things. I don't know what. That is actually Centennial Field where um, the local baseball team uh, play baseball. <laughs> Forget the name of the team, like Champ or something. Champs? I don't know. Everything is fucking Champ in Vermont because of the sea monster, Champ. Um, but anyways, yeah, so we are on East, East Ave right now heading to the interstate where I'm going to hop on and we're going to go to BB and I hope that they have this freaking uh, steelbook in stock because I want it. My greedy hands want it. They want to hold the steelbook. They want to own that bitch. So I made sure that I took enough money out of my piggy bank so I could afford to buy the steelbook. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, so really cool. Stoked to get it. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Oh, thank you everybody for, uh, whoever ordered or bought some movies off me. Uh, a couple of you guys did, um, Horror Movie Game Guy or Movie Game Guy 91, I believe. Um, oh, I don't know. A few of you guys did. So thank you, uh, to everyone who purchased. I think there were three of you who purchased, uh, movies. I still have a bunch left and I'm actually going to do a video when I get around to it and I'm going to bunch up everything in a lot and sell the remainder of the stuff. It's mostly just DVDs. I'm going to sell the remainder of everything for one lump price and hopefully somebody will bite because it'll be a good deal for sure. There's a, uh, I think Patrick Gymnasium. That's where, sorry about the window too. Um, it's kind of shitty because I haven't cleaned it in a while and I smoke in the car. So smoke clouds up on the window and it, you know it's just not very crispy but that's all right um but yeah so i'm gonna do a lump thing selling all the rest of the dvds and whatever else for blu-rays i don't think there's very many that i didn't sell all the good stuff's gone the box set's gone the may media book's gone uh my boy mikey fish bought uh three dvds and then i sold the media book to one of my buddies as well um so, yeah, that stuff's all gone. Petco, Stables Plaza. I don't support Petco because they're a food chain, and I like to buy 
um, my cat only the highest quality food that they don't sell in the shitty Petco store. No, I'm just kidding. But if you want to get some cool, uh, I don't know what I'm fucking talking about, Petco, whatever. We're going to hop on the interstate here. It's been a really overcasty day today. Um, we don't want to go to Winooski, do we? No, we don't. Shit, guys, where am I going? Where am I taking you? We're gonna go straight, and we're gonna go to Williston. We're not gonna go on the interstate, I lied. Um, but yeah, it sucks, because I got out early today, and I was hoping to get some sunshine and go for a swim, and it's been pretty much like this all day, so it sucks, but uh, you'll have it. Especially in VT, you'll have it. We get a lot of rain, so. Dorset Street, that's actually where I live off of Dorset, so. Home turf right here, guys. So this is my stomping ground. Since I was a young lad. I'm always very curious in knowing like where people come from, and I feel like people just don't really like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm just like too friendly or what the fuck it is, but I just feel like people don't like to open up and they don't, it's not like I'm like, hey, where do you live? But I mean, it's just, you got to really pull teeth to get information out of people, I feel like. So, whereas I'm like an open book, but, uh, but yeah, I'm always very interested in the different areas that people are from and whatever so I mean because all I really know is this and you know I've traveled a little bit lived in North Carolina for five years but it's a big big world and y'all are probably from everywhere so I don't know um, if you're watching this video and you care to let me know where you're from Drop a comment in the comment section and let me know. Say, yo, I'm from California. I'm from Tennessee. I'm from fucking Kentucky. I'm from Florida. I don't know. I just want to know. And what it's like where you, where you be. Because, uh, like I said, I'm a Vermonter. And Vermont is just a tiny little speck in the scheme of things. You know what I mean? So, to the left of me over here is a little area called the Bagel Place. Well, it's a little local spot called the Bagel Place. And they make fucking amazing breakfast sandwiches. Now, recently, since I've been going on this diet that I've been boasting about every day, uh, I haven't been eating bagels, but literally for like three years, every single day I would start my day off by eating a sausage, egg, and cheese bagel. Plain bagel, sausage, egg, and cheese with chipotle mayonnaise on the side, and it is fucking bombastic. So, side little, little side chain, Marco's Pizza, that place right there, it was a little hood rat hangout spot growing up. We all kind of kicked it there and, you know, smoked weed in the parking lot, chillaxed. Look at that flock of birds, pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, that was like the hangout spot in high school, Marco's, that was the shit. Everybody worked there. Literally, like, every single person that I know had a job at Marco's. It's just kind of, like, the cool thing to do. <clears throat> uh, Gracie's right here on the right. We have a store that's run by a local Lebanese family who run basically a monopoly on everything in fucking Vermont. Um, and their little tactic is to hire these foreign chicks from, like, Bosnia and... I don't know, Poland, they're just, they're all smoking hot, so they get all, like, the old, fat horn dogs to go in there and chat them up and buy booze and cigarettes, whatever the fuck they might buy, um, and, yeah, that's, it's a good marketing scheme, man, it definitely works, for sure, um, yeah, so now we're gonna be passing again feel like a broken record but here's Ethan Allen Motel that's where Jim Carrey shot some sequences in, um, in uh, me myself and Irene the Guild Steakhouse fantastic if you like uh, 
burgers, steaks, oysters, good stuff like that. Parkway Diner, used to be a really dank little diner, but it's kind of a shithole, new management. Champ Car Wash, Executive Car Wash rather, uh, that's where I wash my car, excellent spot. They do a very, I always bring my car through the uh, car wash, I'm lazy, but it's the best car wash around for sure. And there's a lot of them too. Uh, so we're on Williston Road, South Burlington right now, on route to BB, Best Buy, the local Best Buy. Um, I don't really know what to say. I've taken you guys on this route multiple times, I'm just kind of bored, so I felt like doing some filming. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I forget what I was going to say. Must not have been very important. Um, tell you what, guys. I'm going to pause this video right now. And I will catch back up with you when I'm going into Best Buy. And we'll uh, hope for the best. So wish me some luck. And hopefully the next time you guys see me, I'll be either looking at or holding... Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 3 Steelbook Limited Edition on Blu-ray. On Blu-Reezy, my nazy. So, you know what? I changed my mind. I'm just going to keep holding the camera. And, uh, we're just going to go along for the whole journey together because when I go to edit this thing, if I have to cut multiple things together, it's just a pain in the ass, so. But I actually, I already am going to have to because of my intro there, but uh, we're almost there anyway. We're probably three minutes away from Best Buy now, guys. This actually is the same route to the Williston Goodwill. There's two Goodwills that I'm aware of uh, in the area here. One of them being right off of this road. We're not going to hit that today just because I just don't feel like going to Goodwill. But, uh, and the other one's on Shelburne Road. Maybe in my next video I'll do a Shelburne Road just so you guys can see some different scenery. Um, even though I'm going a different route this time, I usually go, uh, I usually take Dorset. And then uh, I forget what road it's called. It's parallel to this one over there. But, uh, to go to Best Buy, but yeah, I went Williston Road today, rather than Dorset. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Oh, I didn't mention, I don't think I mentioned, uh, that all three of the packages that you guys ordered, or I mean, movies that you guys ordered have been shipped out as of today, so... Uh, oh, and, uh, Joe, the Horror Man, uh, let me know if you got your movie, dude. I've never heard from you. Um, and you should have that by now because I sent that out like well over a week ago, right? So if you're watching this, comment, let me know. Hopefully you got it. Because <laughs> if you didn't, we got a, we got issues. Because you should have it by now. Up here on the left is a little sandwich shack. And I'm really upset because they're going to be moving. But ever since I was in uh, high school, I've been going here. It's called the Vermont Sandwich Company. There used to be five or six of them. It was a chain. Uh, there it is right there, a little shithole right there. Um, Texas Roadhouse, oh, that's all right. Uh, but anyways, they all closed down. There's only one left, unfortunately. It's a sad, sad thing because it's a really good place. They make this sandwich called the Patriot, which is basically like turkey stuffing, cranberry mayonnaise. It's actually like real cranberries. Um, and it's basically like Thanksgiving dinner and one sandwich. Um, and it is fucking fantastic. And I've been eating that sandwich, oh, since I was, uh, in high school. So, anyways, here we are at Market Tree Place. This is where the best local cinema is. Um, Majestic 10, it's coming up here on the right. It is also the outlet where Best Buy is. So, we're here, guys. Just a couple more minutes. And, um... I don't know if I'm going to film in Best Buy. I'm not really... I don't know. I always feel kind of weird. Yogurt City, that place is pretty good. I always feel kind of weird filming in public because I'm just such an amateur at it. You know, I'm 
just not. I don't have the skills that like some other YouTubers have. That's a really good Mexican restaurant, Agave. Mm. You guys like chimichangas? Fucking go there and get one. Um, so, Vermont Sandwich Company is actually moving into that location on the corner there, which sucks because it's going to be in this like commercially fested fucking area, whereas I liked it before in that little shit shack. Kind of gave it more character, you know? Uh, go ahead. You go ahead. Uh, Asian Bistro down the line there. It's a pretty dank restaurant. Pretty, pretty good if you like your Asian cuisine. Probably like the third or fourth best Asian cuisine in the state. But uh, here we are at the great, well, not the not so great, Best Buy. The overrated Best Buy. No, it's okay. Hey, and check it out, guys. My spot, my little VIP spot is available, which is awesome. Nobody knows that this is actually not a handicap spot. It's next to a handicap spot, but this ain't no handicap spot. So, guys, we're here. I've got 9% battery powder. Power. Just gonna grab my wallet. And we're gonna go inside. And we're gonna hope to God that they had this movie. All right, here we go. It's the new release section. What is God's dead? The light and darkness. It's not a horror movie. I don't think it is. Okay, so it's not in the front. There's Super Troopers 2, though. kind of wanted to pick that up, but I don't think I'm going to get it today. Although there's only one left. Oh, wow, guys. These are fucking... Not looking good. Not looking good, dude. Oh, shit. Did I miss it in the front here? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, on the side. We've got one left. Wow. When was The Walking Dead Season 8? When was that released? I feel like I already... I feel like I own this. Was this out? When was this released, guys? Anybody know? Cool. Well, I'm going to go pay for this at the front. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. That's awesome. I got the last copy. So, sweetness. All right. Catch you later. Yo. So. In the car, just got out of Best Buy, and I had no idea. I don't know where the fuck, I, what rock I was hiding under, but I had no idea that season eight of The Walking Dead was released yesterday. So, caught me off guard. Your fucking wallet. Oh my god, you Of course, so I can't even get a minute to myself fucking sitting in the car and... Some asshole that I know from work just comes up to the window and says, give me all your money. So, um, my bad guys, but I just want to let you know that I just got out of Best Buy and I had no idea that Walking Dead Season 8 came out on Blu-ray yesterday. So I did scoop that up as well as the limited edition, um, lenticular, or not lenticular, limited edition steelbook, um, of Ash vs. Evil Dead. I'm getting on the interstate now, so I'm going to go. But the awesome thing is that both of those releases were literally the last ones they had left in stock. So I just went ham and grabbed them both because I'm an addict. I'm an addict for movies, for sure. What can I say? So fuck yeah, guys. Awesome. Season 8 of The Walking Dead and The Steelbook. Oops, sorry. This cool-ass artwork. 
Or Ash vs. Evil Dead. Alright, I'm gonna go because I'm gonna fucking kill somebody and I don't want that. I don't want to die and I don't want to hurt anybody. So, you guys have a great night. Thanks for watching this video. As always, I will talk to you soon. Later.